Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. The bankruptcy contingency plan is continuing. On Monday, January 25th, we issued a press release announcing that we had raised more than $900 million and that bankruptcy was no longer an option for AMC. And over the next 48 hours, beginning Tuesday evening with after-hours trading, the following day, the ANC share price began to skyrocket, marking the beginning of retail investors pouring into our stock. They are now in charge of AMC. ANC was owned by institutions for a decade, and during the entire decade that the company was publicly traded, institutions owned over 80% of the stock. By April of 2021, retail investors own more than 80% of the company. A complete inversion. In addition, as we prepared for the July annual shareholder meeting, we conducted a comprehensive analysis of our shareholder base. On June 2, 2021, we had 4.1 million individual shareholders who owned between 100 and 120 shares on average, but there were only 4 million of them. They now control AMC and I work for them. Traditionally, professional managers have served the shareholders of their companies. Ownership holder, I see all of these tweets proclaiming that I am the king. The shareholder is the king. The shareholders, who are the company's owners, must be listened to by management in order for management to lead. And retail investors are now the proprietors of AMC. Thus, it is their business. If some of you are watching, it's your company, and we're honored to accompany you. Regarding retail investors retain AMC, initial retail investors were initially silent because we had previously saved AMC by raising substantial funds. We raised billions of dollars three or three or four times before January 25, 2021. And this is initially what saved AMC. Then, however, retail investors arrived in massive numbers. And yes, they did save AMC, and they did so in January of 2021, when we had real money in the bank after having raised enough funds to avert the initial bankruptcy threat. This is being filmed in September of 2021, and the pandemic is still ongoing. And as a result of retail investors, we raised an additional $1 billion, $2 million, $500,000 in May and June of 2021. And that final billion dollars is what I believe will ensure our survival through this pandemic, despite the fact that there are no guarantees in life and nobody has a crystal ball. Regarding the years 2022, 2023, and 2024, I believe that the nation and the world will make significant strides due to vaccination. The last billion and a quarter that we raised more than doubled the cash on hand, allowing us to end the second quarter of 2021 with $2 billion in cash on hand or an undrawn revolving credit line. Thus, it does not always have to be, you know, a particularly awful month. However, the first two weeks of September tend to be interesting especially optimistic during the second week of September. Therefore, by then, we will have the short interest numbers reported to the exchange for AMC stock. It turns out that $2 billion is more money than AMC has ever had at the end of a quarter or in our company's 101-year history. And when we raised that money, I stated that it would allow AMC to play a fence once more, as the COVID virus may have put us on the defensive and on our heels. But as they say in European football, we call it football in the United States. It is time to play on the offensive again, or, as we say in the United States, to play on offense. And sure enough, we announced the addition of several theaters. We were able to acquire several theaters from the Arclight Pacific chain, which was one of Southern California's most successful theater chains. For instance, just after Labor Day weekend in 2021, we announced one of the most dramatic things AMC has ever done. A new $25 million national advertising campaign on network television featuring seven different commercials starring Nicole Kidman, describing how magical it is to watch films in theaters. Thank you for viewing.